Greetings, Productive Programmer. So I just wanted to take a minute to talk about why Phoenix Live View, why this technology out of every other technology out there. Well, I think the first reason that I want to start with is just that it is a highly productive framework to build in. And I really mean that. So you can build websites, very sophisticated websites, in just a couple of minutes. There's a lot built into the, the web framework that makes it highly productive to work as a solo engineer. But then the other piece of that that I should have added is that not only is it highly productive because of the speed to write the code, it's also highly productive in the fact that you can scale the code. So companies like Spotify, Discord, and WhatsApp have used the technology to scale rapidly to a very large number of users simultaneously concurrently on the network. So Phoenix allows you to scale too, and it allows you to use all of the cores and all of the CPU processing unit on servers. It's not single threaded or anything like that. Um, it's also um, one of the nice things about it as well with Live View, um, stepping away from scalability now is talking about uh, going back to the speed to be able to build. So JavaScript, you can actually write applications using no JavaScript at all. And actually, in fact, in this course, as well as the paid version of this course, we build uh, very sophisticated applications using sometimes no JavaScript. Uh, but you still have the flexibility to use JavaScript. But the nice thing is that you can write applications using no JavaScript. Now, the benefit of that is that a lot of times JavaScript can actually be one of the pieces of an, a website that can have the most number of bugs in production. So you can actually just completely bypass that using Phoenix Live View, which is really, really cool. Additionally, in Phoenix 1.7, they just integrated Tailwind directly into the framework. They don't force you to use Tailwind, though. You can always use other frameworks if you wanted to use something different. There are ways to configure that. But Tailwind is built directly into it, which is really nice, making it easy to just right off the bat get running and building websites extremely fast with Tailwind. And then um, PubSub is built into Phoenix Live View, making it really easy to do things that you would normally need to use an application like Kafka to do. So, you know, PubSub built right into the application, it's beautiful, and it, it makes it the ability to, to do things uh, over channels with topics, and we teach that in the paid version of the course. We actually use PubSub to build a real-time chat application, so that's really cool. And then there's a growing community, so it's a, it's, an, it's a framework that is really starting to pick up in the early phases, so it's a great time to get in early. And then it brings everything that Elixir brings to the table. So you know, Elixir is highly scalable. You can pretty much like, you don't even really need to use something like Kubernetes to, to scale something like Elixir. I mean, it had that figured out way before Kubernetes was even really a thing. Uh, Elixir also comes to the table, allows you to, uh, can it can potentially, it has cache built into it. So you can replace things like Redis, um, and then you can integrate all of your databases. And then Phoenix on top of that has really nice generators that allow you to build um, using Postgres databases and so forth, extremely rapid and quickly. You can just build out your databases really quick and, and efficiently. So um, the, to sum it up, there's a lot of information that I put into there, but if the too lazy didn't read is really just that it is one of the most productive web frameworks I have ever found to work in. It makes it coding feel really fun. It makes it feel really easy and it doesn't take much time to build a highly sophisticated application using one framework and it makes it a real breeze to work with the technology so i highly encourage you to continue your learning